Hello everyone and welcome to the 45th C programming tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering the const keyword in C or otherwise known as constants. Um, so yeah this has you know been at least a year I think since my last C tutorial I didn't actually check but uh, it's probably been around there and this is the first tutorial in uh, the revamp of the Apple programming channel so this is the summer of 2013 where I've promise to give you a weekly video update on some random programming topic. So we're going to start out uh, the summer with uh, a C tutorial, surprisingly. So I thought you'd, you probably thought we'd never come back to these, but guess what? We're back. And uh, the next tutorial is actually going to be a C tutorial as well. So, you know, I guess we're double back. But uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so this tutorial applies to, of course, everyone that watches this channel, and uh, the cons keyword certainly comes up a bunch of times if you're working in Objective-C. You will see constant strings uh, appear quite a bit, so this tutorial will hopefully explain to you uh, what's going on with that. Anyway, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to start out with uh, just making a variable. You know, this is like bringing you back to the first C tutorials. And uh, we're just going to print out that variable. So um, we're going to print out value of num. And as you can see, whoa, we get a value of 5. What a shocker. All right. Now we're going to change this value to be value of 9. And I'm sure you guys can probably guess what's going to happen here too. But just in case you guys don't remember, as you can see, we've changed the value of num to now be 9. So when we reprint it out, we get a value of 9. All right. Uh, I'm sure you learned a lot in this tutorial. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. We've got uh, basically the whole point of uh, going over this was not completely pointless, but the point was to recap what a variable is, right? We define something and it can vary, right? We can change its value because it's a variable. Now, the keyword that we're going to learn today is the const keyword. And this keyword basically comes in and says, yo, I'm going to ruin your party today and make you a constant, which means you can't vary anymore. And I should probably never say yo in my tutorials, but, uh, you know, you get to enjoy it while, I, while I'm uh, in the mode. But uh, as you can see, we now have this issue that Xcode is complaining to us saying this is a read-only variable and is not assignable which means that we can't change the value once we've declared it or defined it. So we've defined this variable called num, and it already has a value of 5, right? And because we've said it's constant, that means that it's constant. It can't be changed, right? It's like the speed of light. It's a constant. You can't change the speed of light. So that's basically what we're saying here. Num is now a constant, and we can't change it. All right. So uh, we have to, to like, if we were to fix this program, we'd have to delete that line of code, and then we could rerun it. And as you can see, we obviously get five. All right, so you know nothing too spectacular there. So this basically applies to any other situation, right? If I change this to float, for example, and I say 5.0 f2, right? Five point did I say F? I was going to put an F in there, but um, okay, it's going to complain because I don't have my float. There we go. All right. Anyway, you get the point. We can change we can change the value to be or the type to be whatever we want, but let's change it back for now. And uh, anyway, the point being here was that if we put the const keyword out front of a variable or a type, right, that type can't be changed. Surprising. All right, now the other real case is when we have pointers. So pointers are a little different, obviously, because, well, they're pointers. So let's let's do a little recap on uh, pointers, just so you guys can remember what those even are. If we have a pointer to our value of num, I'll just kind of break this up here. We have de defined or declared that we're going to make a variable or a pointer variable. And pointer variables hold on to addresses of basically other variables, right? So we get the address using the ampersand sign of our number, and we're basically assigning the address of our num variable to the value of our pointer variable called p to num. So now p to num holds on to the address of our number. All right, so that's basically 
what I had to say there. Now if I want to change this, right, I can use the star or dereference operator and I can change the value that our pointer variable points to. So if I want to change the value of num, I could change it to 10 going like so. And as you can see, we have 5 and 10, which is what we get printed out for the value of num. Cool. All right, so where does cons come into this? Well, cons can play two kind of roles when you're working with pointers. So one, I guess the two things to consider are uh, one, the value that your pointer is pointing to. So we can say that the thing that our pointer is going to point to, it is going to make that value a constant so that we can't change the value of, basically in this case, we couldn't change the value of num if we wanted to make that constant. The other thing that we can make constant is that the address that is assigned to our pointer can't be changed either. So that, you know, if we had another variable called maybe num2, which I'll make in a second actually, then that can't be changed. So there's kind of two cases that we can have for pointers. But let's run through both of them. So if I put the const keyword before my asterisk here, or my star, or whatever the heck you want to call it, basically this will mean that the value that our pointer variable represents cannot be changed. So when I say something like const int before the star, this means that the value that we're pointing to cannot be mutated, we can't change it. So as you can see, we are getting an error now saying that the read only variable is not assignable, which means that our, uh, whatever we're referencing with our pointer to num, we can't actually change. All right, so, you know, we just, we can't run this program, it'll fail. Now, one thing that you should note though, is that we can still change the value that it does point to using the variable itself. So if I wanted to say num gets 11, right, I can still change this. So just because I've defined that the pointer is constant, uh, or the thing that uh, our pointer is pointing to will be constant through the pointer, I guess I want to say, it doesn't mean that that value itself is actually constant. It just means that we're defining our pointer to not allow the value that it points to to change. Okay, so this is only only within the scope of the variable, right? It doesn't mean that uh, our number now becomes a constant. Okay, so this is important to know. Uh, if I say const uh, with pointers before my star, it means that the value that our pointer is representing cannot be changed. Cool. All right. So um, you know, I'm sure I'm sure that's a fairly reasonable thing to say. Now the other case is to put the const after the star, and now we have basically a constant uh, address. So this means that the address that ptnum represents cannot be changed. So for example, if I was to change this to num2, and num2 has a value of 21, uh, let's get rid of this line and print num2 out. All right, and uh, let's just show you what we got there. So we have 5 and 21, right? Now, when we define const to be after the star, this means that the address p to num hold on, holds onto cannot be changed. So we first defined it with the address of num. So if we wanted to change this, so let's say right in here, we say p to num, you are now going to represent the address of num2. Basically, Xcode will complain, right? We're now set, we are told that this is a read-only variable. We can't change the value of the address represented by p to num. If I got rid of this const, right, then this works fine. And p to num could now change the uh, value at uh, num2. So if I wanted to change num2, I could just assign p to num the address of num2, and then, uh, you know, set it to 1. And you can see that we get 5 and 1 now. But by defining const to be here, this means that the address can no longer be changed, so I can't actually change it to be num2. It's always going to have to be pointing, or the address of our pointer variable will always have to be num, or the variable num, right? So that is that. The last thing that we can kind of do with this is if we want a double constant, which I don't really know if this is actually useful, but um, basically this would mean that the value 
that your pointer points to cannot be changed, and also that your address that is held on to by your pointer variable can't be changed either. So this is kind of like a double whammy, I guess. You are basically now stuck with a pointer that you've assigned and then you can't do anything with it. So I don't really know if this is actually has a use case, uh, but you know maybe maybe there are. I just can't think of any right now. But as you can see, we, we get complaints from Xcode or the compiler uh, complaining about both of these situations, right? We can't change the address that p10m holds on to, and we also can't uh, use a dereference operator to change the value that p10m represents. And yeah, so uh, you're stuck with this uh, crappy constant constant of a pointer. Anyway, that's uh, that pretty much sums up that. So uh, anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions on uh, anything else that uh, you saw in this tutorial or uh, something outside of it about uh, the const keyword, uh, please leave your questions or comments in the comments section below. Please subscribe to the channel and as always you can check me out on Twitter and or Google Plus and uh, I you know always love to hear from you guys there. The next tutorial will be on variadic functions or uh, well let's just kind of show you the example which is with printf you can see that we have this nice little ellipsis at the end or these three dots and this means that we can have as you've kind of figured out already with printf you can have multiple variables or parameters that you pass into a single function so far I've only showed how we can make a function with a certain set of set number of parameters right we've defined a function where we have you know two parameters that we can pass in so the ellipsis allows you to do something kind of neat, which is pass in multiple uh, parameters, and of course that's really useful for our printf statements where we can, you know, make this constant string right here, and then we have this whole list of, um, you know, variables that we might want to print. Anyway, uh, that's that's next on the agenda for uh, you know sometime next week. Anyway, hope you enjoy the tutorial, and I will see you next time.